All right, I'm going to show a few of the magnets and clamps that I use for welding. It's a pretty basic setup. It's not anything out of the ordinary, but uh, I've done a lot of welding with pretty much basic clamps and magnets. Very few magnets, actually. But uh, it's always nice to have them. They, they come in handy on different jobs. Sometimes it's impossible to do something without them. But let me show you a few that I got. All right, here's like the small one like the adjustable clamps and then you got the bigger one with the adjustable pads on it a little bit bigger and I got it on these towels because this thing when you're when you just move them around like this it makes that camera makes it sound like it's like an explosion in there but uh, and then you got the one that's got a longer reach I don't use this one a lot but it comes in handy though then I got some I made up myself and I just started out with regular just with the pads then I welded half cut pipes to them and I, for my rebar use that way you can hold like if you got a piece of rebar you want to hold you grab a piece and then you want to put the other one in there you can clamp them together like that and these you can adapt them to anything you need whatever fixture type thing you're going to be welding on you can because the clamps these clamps are cheap enough I don't know remember how much these were but these are just Harbor Freight clamps and I mean they were I, I want to say at the times that I was buying them maybe three or four bucks a piece and I think you used to get used to could get three in a pack so I got some here I got a bunch of them here and a bunch of them out in the country but they're not going to break the bank if you get them if you get these cheap clamps and you really don't need expensive stuff to do this kind of work either and these adjustable clamps like this they sure beats the heck out of using these uh you know these C clamps like that and trying to hold whatever you're welding and then hold it here hold the something you're welding and trying to turn the tighten it up you know so well here's the magnets I started with got the little one got this medium sized one and the big one and honestly I think I use the big one almost exclusively now anymore I don't even hardly use these anymore I never thought I'd need a big one but I end up buying a big one years ago and I, I think that's the only ones I ever used I don't know a few years ago I bought these type of clamps I got a few smaller ones and a few bigger ones you know you can just kind of slide these things around and they're going to give you different the different angles that you're going to need without a lot of puzzling around and they're not that expensive either and here's the latest one I got it's an adjustable magnet it'll go from you know whatever I think it's 30 degrees it goes down to about 30 degrees and then it's got stops you can put the pin in for uh, you can put the pin in for 45 or you can take the pin out and put the pin in this little trough there's a little trough in here cut out and then you can use that for 90 but it doesn't sit flat it either you either hit this part here or it hits this uh, this bolt part to tighten it up to if you wanted to hold your position that's where you tighten it up at but this part hangs out here a little bit and then this part hangs out it's not that big of a deal I wish it laid flat but it, it it didn't really bother me I used it the last time I was welding from this way and then I had a, I was kicking it up at an angle I was kicking things up kind of at an angle so I mean it it did work out and hold for me it's it's decently strong I wouldn't say it's you know ungodly strong but it's it's strong enough it was holding what I needed it to hold but uh, I think it was 20 bucks. I mean, for, you know, 20 bucks, it's not that bad. But you can get away with a lot of welding with some clamps like this and some magnets like these. I think all I got out in the country now, I just got about, I don't know, three or four of these big, the, the bigger ones like this. I don't even use these out there anymore. And I pretty much built my sawmill out in the country with this size magnet and this, these clamps like this. Sometimes you need a few of them, you know, hold things in a certain position. And I think it's more important, I think, to have some basic, more of the basics, like three, four, five of these, a few more of these, and then some basic ones like that, than it is having, like, all kind of different type of clamps. Well, there's a look at the magnets and clamps that I use. It's not a big array of them or anything, but it's pretty much all you need. Like I say, I built that sawmill out in the country with C-clamps and uh, those big uh, triangular red harbor freight magnets so thanks for watching